to the uh, running REST unikernels in Google Cloud. I uh, have a, a couple of different shell scripts here. Um, one is this little tail log file watcher. So we open that up and all that's going to do is really look at uh, log files as they come in, um, show you what it does. You know, it's, it's pretty basic. It uses ops from ops.city. Uh, and then we have the program that we're running this main.rust. It's a simple little web server. And basically all it does is um, allocate this variable on the stack. And then it shows it the address um, when it requests. And then we kill the web server um, using these uh, assembly instructions. So rather basic, right? <clears throat> but if we look at this loop shell script, what we do here is all we do is we issue a request to the web server, we wait a little bit, kill it, and then issue it again. And this is really interesting. I'll just let you watch it. So we get a new address. We kill the web server. It boots. We get a new address. It kills the web server. It boots. We get a new address. As you can see, this keeps going on and on. And what we're really doing is not restarting the program. We're actually restarting the entire freaking virtual machine on every single uh, HTTP request, which is which is rather insane when you think about it. Um, you can't do this under Linux. You can't do this with a con container. Uh, this is really a unikernel specific thing, and just thought it was kind of cool to show you what exactly was going on. All right, next time. Bye.